Let's learn in this video how we can use Terraform to automate the creation of an Azure Key Vault instance. We'll then define a block to create a password or a secret in Key Vault and then create an access policy that will define who have access to that uh, secret. So into here I have the Terraform template, my main.tf file that defines the different resources that should be created for this, uh, Terraform, for this Key Vault instance. So I start by creating the resource group, I give it a name and a location, and then I, I create the instance for my Key Vault using the Azure RM Key Vault uh, resource here. Also I give it a name, a location, I attach it into a resource group, then here I have some uh, options to enable or not the disk encryption. So here I'm disabling it. And then I need to attach this Key Vault instance into a tenant ID. So to get that tenant ID here, I'm using a reference to my client configuration. So with this, I can get either my uh, tenant ID and also my subscription ID. So here I'm referencing that data dot Azure client config and then dot current to get the tenant ID that I want to use with this uh, 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 with this resource. And here, because I'm already logged in as a user using that AZ login command, so Terraform will be able to retrieve that tenant ID, that information from there. Then with Key Vault, we have some other features like enabling or disabling the uh, soft delete. This will allow you to retrieve your secrets or your keys or your private certificates even after you have deleted your Key Vault instance. So that will accept values from seven to uh, from at least uh, seven days. And then here I have the access policy for that Key Vault. So I'm specifying here the tenant ID and the object ID to it, which is related to that uh, tenant ID. So the object ID here defines my entity, the entity that is used to deploy this Terraform template. In the case I'm using AZ login, I'm already logged in as myself, as Hussam Delay to my, to my Azure subscription, so I'm a user. So this object ID will then reference my user object ID. In a CI CD pipeline, Typically here we would use a service principle object ID. So we would create a service principle and then we would use its object ID into here. So that uh, access to that uh, password will be using that, uh, th through that uh, service principle. But here for the demo, I'll take in my own uh, uh, user um, object ID. And then for myself, I'll give myself access to get the permissions over the keys and then permissions over the secrets, I'll be able to retrieve those secrets, list them and change them, and then also delete those secrets. I'll give myself also access to the storage permissions for get. And if I wanna um, make that uh, key vault be a private instance, then I can do that here by specifying the network ACLs. Uh, so by saying default action is deny, with that you can limit the public access to your um, to your key vault and you can allow to bypass for some other Azure uh, services and for some specific IP rules. Then into that key vault I want to create a secret so that would be created using the resource type Azure RM key vault secret. I will call it the database password and I will pass its value through a variable name called secret value and I'll attach that secret into my Key Vault instance through its own uh, ID. Note we can also define other policies, for example, for my service principle, and here I have commented out that section, but that's to say you can define multiple access policies within your Key Vault instance. So with this main template, I'll attach some variables.tf file, where here I'm defining the resource group name, location, key vault name, uh, the secret name, and the secret value. And for the secret note, I'm here using the sensitive equal true. This is to hide its value from the Terraform uh, output uh, uh, commands. Then I'm specifying there the exact or the real values for my variables from the terraform.tf vars file here. I want to output the Key Vault ID and also the Key Vault URL that I can use. And for the providers, I'm using the Azure RM provider, 
with this uh, new syntax related to the version 0 0.14 of Terraform where I'm specifying this source. So here I'm using the Azure RM from the Azure Corp and then the exact version for that Azure RM which is for today the uh, 2.14. Let's now go to deploy this uh, Terraform template that will create a key vault instance. From the command line, I run the command terraform init that will download the providers. And now I go to run the command terraform plan and output the TF plan. And then here I can see all the resources that will be created. Those are three resources, the resource group, the key vault instance, and also the secret. Let's now go to apply that plan. So I'll use the command terraform apply, then the name of my plan that I have called it tfplan. Great, now the apply did complete successfully and I have my three resources that were created and here I get the key vault ID and the URL of my new key vault instance. Let's now switch to the Azure portal and from here I'll find that resource group that will host my key vault instance. So if I go map to that key vault instance here, I would go to the secrets and from here I'll find the database secret, the one that I have created and defined from Terraform. And if I go to the access policies, then from here I would find the access policy that was related to my own identity that I have created earlier. So with that I have the secrets uh, or I have the access to the secrets with the get list set and delete. Please just note that here, Microsoft is working on a role-based access control airbag with Active Directory instead of uh, this simple uh, access uh, uh, policies. So that might change in the near future. So keep an eye on that. To find the source code for the Terraform template that we have used today, go to this GitHub repository and on the folder number 12, you will find that template with the variables and so on. If you are looking for more content about anything related to Terraform, DevOps, Azure and Kubernetes, please go check the videos that I post regularly on my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you.